you know, the question of being protected in a wounding environment. I was removed today. Somebody sent me a video, a uh, YouTube video, um, of a woman who actually died last week. She's 110 years old, and she was thought to be the world's oldest Holocaust survivor. And she, uh, a Jewish woman from, I'm not sure which Eastern European country, Austria perhaps. Uh, anyway, she ended up in Theresienstadt, which is uh, one of the concentration camps um, where now Czechoslovakia is. And, uh, and she's one of these people that maintained her love of life throughout that horrible experience. Mm. And she connected with music. She was a wonderful pianist. Mm. And she played Chopin. And so she played Chopin at the concentration camp, and when she wasn't playing it, she was thinking it. Mm. And she lived on her own till she was 110 years old and died quite unexpectedly at the age of 110. You know? <laughs> uh, no, one no, 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 no one saw it coming. <laughs> right. and, uh, but, but when you watch her, She's just full of vibrancy and life and love of life and appreciation and gratitude. And she had that same attitude throughout the horror. Now, which is only to say, and my best guess is that she was even given some God-given grace, some experience of divinity or, or, or reality at some point, or more likely, she had an amazing first three years of life. You know, she was thereafter, as you said, inoculated. Even against that horror of that, there's not a wo more wounding environment than what she went through. So, it, that, which only goes to show what the human potential actually is. Mm -hmm.